Hello everyone, welcome to episode 5 of Ace Attorney. Uh, so we are on, what, the fourth part, I think, of the Turnabout Sisters? Uh, so September 7th, 3, 11pm, Detention Center, Visitor's Room. Where are we at? Okay, well hello, I didn't expect anyone to visit me in such a dank place as this. It's really quite moving. Not, you stinking lawyer, I hope you die. <laughs> Have you come to laugh? Yes, laugh at the fall of Miss May. Miss May. <laughs> No, not really. There's something I want to ask. Unfortunately, there is nothing I want to be asked. Haven't you done enough questioning, you spiky head? Uh, don't you have the option to not see your visitor? Here we go again. Please, you're scaring the security guard. So, what is it to you? Uh, what is it you wish to ask of me then, hmm? For starters, how did you get to be so totally whacked? Okay. That man. About the man who stayed with you in, the ho in your hotel room. Can you tell me about him? Where is he? Come on. No way, Jose. Hmm, maybe I, uh, if I had something to get her to talk. The wiretap. Why'd you place the wiretap on Mia's phone? Uh, when you say it like that, it sounds so cold, so criminal. Um, tapping people's phones is a crime, Miss May. Oh, and I suppose you learned that in lawyer school, huh? Creep. Possible to talk to your attitude. Say, why are you so angry? I mean, you don't look like a bad person. Oh, that does it. Bottom being scum sucking fucking cocksucker. <laughs> Bo b bottom? I can't tell. I can't tell. Does she have a thing against lawyers or just against me? Hold on, wait, hold on. Wait. Did she? Oh, okay, never mind. Okay. I thought she called him a bottom. <laughs> Alright. Um, present. Do we have anything to give her? Uh. I don't think so. But, let's just give her a few things. Okay. Phone. Hey, guess what? She, I, um, really hate your guts, so get lost because we're not- Well, I'm not cooperating. Thanks. Okay. I don't know what to give her, though. <laughs> okay, so, it doesn't seem like we have anything we can do now. So, let's head on over to the hotel. Okay. Ah, welcome, sir. Quite the performance today, if I dare say so myself. Oh, um, thanks. Sorry for putting you on the spot like that. No, not all good, sir. Your efforts today can only help the Gatewater's rep, as they say. Huh? Rep? Yes, our reputation with, with, will swell as the hotel where the murderer used a wiretap. We can charge a premium for the room, of course. It will be great for business, sir. Whoa, whoa, Miss May hasn't been charged with murder. I, too, will become famous. The bellboy who brought the murderer iced coffee. <laughs> Why do I feel like they're uh, they're both stuck in the same bad dream? So, you're an, our honored guest. Please let me know if there's anything I can do for you. Bring for you. Whatever you said. Miss May. About Miss May. Oh, oh, shit. What? Oh my god. About Miss May. Oh, her? Sir, not to boast, but I knew the moment I saw her. She'd do it, I said. Do what? I'm sorry to think the most sus suspicious person here is this guy. I want to ask you about the man who was mis with Miss May. Ah, uh, yes, he struck me as a real lady killer, if you pardon the expression. I knew it for, uh, I knew it from the moment I saw him, sir. He and I are from the same ilk. We both carry the sense of danger. There we are in total agreement, Mr. Psycho Bellboy. If you had a photo of that man, I'd quite sh uh, I'm quite sure I could identify him. A photo, hmm. Could you tell me about this hotel? Absolutely, and on that subject, I have an excellent idea, sir. Currently, this hotel is known as the Gatewater. I propose that we add a subtle uh, subtitle. The Gatewater Hotel. Murder Manor. Well, what do you think? Uh, sounds great. Whatever, float your tea, I guess. <laughs> okay. Uh, I guess that's kind of all we really can do here at the moment. I don't have any pictures of the dude, so let's head back over to Crossburg. Painting's gone. Perfect. Huh, looks like Crossfire's out again today. Maybe he's avoiding me for some reason. Yeah, it probably is. Um, Sam, wait a second. A painting of a fisherman. I don't see why that matters. There it is! What's this? Old photos. There are two lying here. Something on a DLC. DL6. DL6. Okay, let's take a look at these. This was the person. This is um, Mia and Maya's mom. And this is the killer. Uh, we're gonna want to take that picture. I don't see why I don't just take both, but whatever. Okay, so now bring the bring over to the bellboy. 
Here you go. Take a look at this photo. That's him! Detective! Um, I'm the lawyer. Oh, I know that. I just wanted to say detective once, you know how it is. No, no I don't. Without a doubt, that is the man who checked in with Miss Ma April May. How about I write an affidavit swearing that that's him? An affidavit? This guy is way too excited about this. Have him write it, sure. Well, sure, why not? Yes, I've always wanted to write down an affidavit, sir. From henceforth, I will be known as the bellboy who swore the affidavit. Just hurry up and write it. <laughs> okay, not even Miss May can be dumb to this. All right. Oh, wait. Get out of here. Come on. I hit the backspace button, which is all the way over. <sighs> okay, now let's go back to the Grossberg office. Oh. Okay. I would have liked to have grabbed that photo back, but whatever. Oh, I guess maybe if I showed her the photo of... Never mind. I don't know. Okay, give her the picture of him. Have a look at this. Look, I've said several times I'm not telling you... Where'd you? This is him, isn't it? What? Who? When? Why? It is him. This is the man who stayed in your hotel room the night of the murder. No, no, that's... Uh, shit. Nice try, Miss Cooperative. Do, do you have proof that was him? Hmm? Yeah, proof. Show me proof. I'm so close. Bitch, I already got that proof. Come on now. Rookie. Could you have a look at this? What's that? Bell Boy's affidavit he tells everything he saw. Is that just the man you checked in with? Who was the most definitely this guy? Now I'm getting somewhere. Ease your feeling. Push your heart. Piss that bitch off. This is it. All or nothing. Time to do a little bluff. No use playing dumb, if indeed that's an act. If you don't talk, I'm taking this info to the press. Even though he should have been, uh, uh, even though he should have been witness to your, uh, murder, your little friend was missing. Uh, I'm sure the press would have a field day with this reputation. Ooh, ooh, fine, I'll talk. You, you win, lawyer. Yes, man, that felt good. It's great to be alive. Why are you pumping your fists in the air? <laughs> now tell me about the man you were with. That man. He's my boss, Red White, the president of the Information Gathering Con Conglomerate Blue Corp. Red White. Uh, information Gathering? Well, I suppose you could call it a detective agency. Hmm. So this is the man that was with you the night of the murder? I'm scared to talk. I don't want to end up like that. It's okay, I'll just ask Mr. White myself. Can you tell me where Blue Corp is located? I'm pretty sure touchscreen phones are a thing in this. Well, actually, I don't know. The first Ace game is pretty old. I don't know. Uh, Mr. Red White at last. Finally, a lead on this guy. Plus, I don't know what year this is taking place in. If April May could, uh, couldn't have done it, that leaves him. Time to take action. Bellboy's affidavit discarded. Okay. Wha wha wait, why? Why would you get rid of that? Let's head on over to Blue Corp, I guess. There's that picture. Yo, what is his hand doing? Oh, wait, never mind, that's a glove. Okay. <laughs> I thought the... <laughs> uh, what's with this sort of decor? Welcome, please furnish me with the title of your personage. What the? Your name, what is your name? I was just inquirably asking about the title that you go by. Uh, Wright, Phoenix Wright. Mr. Wright, is it right, I see? Splendiferous... I don't want to punch him in the face. Perhaps I have intimidated you with my giantesque vocabulary. What is this guy's problem? I'm Red White, CEO of Blue Corp, you know corporate expansion official. My business dealings bring me into contact with the elite of the elite. So I'm afraid I am not used to converging with the worldly challenged. What a fruitcake. Hmm, let me guess. You're an attorney fresh up. Jesus Christ, that's the only explanation for why you would uh, come to meet me like this. No matter. Uh, what business do you, does a mighty lawyer have with a man such as myself? Yikes, this guy's arrogance meter is off the scale. Okay, uh... Haven't I seen this? Yeah. Ridiculously, uh, ridic ridiculousity. What the fuck? I have no interest in anything but originals. That right there is a bona fide original worth five million for sure. Uh, alright, bro. Well, uh, let me make sure there's nothing else. Tap on everything. Alright, back out. Oh, shit. Back out. Alright, speak. Miss May is an employee of Blue Corp, is she not? Correct. She was my secretariat. 
Uh, what a shock it was to hear what she had, has done. What she has done, you mean the wiretap. Indeed, she is paid to answer phones, not ta tapping them is not in her job description. She does gather information for us as part of her duties, but I assure you we do not condone illegal methods. It is ineffable that she would do this. It sounds like she uh, he's trying to turn Miss May into a scapegoat. Night of the murder. On the night of the murder, were you in April May's hotel room? Who can say? I seldom pay attention to mundane details such as time and place. My motto is, don't worry, be happy. Still, Mr. White, the hotel bellboy has stated on the record that he does remember you very clearly. No matter, the bellboy can say what he pleases. I still won't talk to you. If you want me to speak, put me on the witness stand. Although I doubt you'd be capable of doing that. He raises a good question, actually. Why didn't the prosecution call him as a witness? He should have seen the same thing as in April May. Oh, the police, the courts. To me, they are mere toys, playthings for my amusement. What kind of company is Blue Corp anyway? Ah, excellent question. We buy and sell various kinds of information. We are a company of the future. You might say we are the future. Sell information. In just 10 years, I've built this business up into the grand office you see now. Uh, in case you were wondering, Blue Corp is named after the color blue. I, Red White of Blue Corp, as founder and CEO, named it so. And why, you ask? Because I like the color blue, of course. Fantabulistic, is it not? That's ironic, considering most of your attire is pink and purple, you fucking fruitcake. Uh, there's, there's something that's been bothering me. Yes, what might that be? That big painting on the wall over there. Um, where'd you get it? Say, when did you get that painting? I said, where? Hmm, no idea, I forgot. I've seen that painting before, yesterday, in fact. Why do I find that painting here today? Mr. Wrong, was it? Right. It appears <laughs> It appears you do not fully grasp your position here. I ask again, who are you? Uh, a lawyer. No, my feeble friend, a mere lawyer. Worth nothing. Zilch. Zippo. Nada. Just like that sorry excuse for an attorney, Grotty Burger. What? 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 Uh, uh, he, he punched me? Well, Mr. Lawyer, what will you do, huh? Charge me with assault? Charge away, I welcome it, for it is you who will be found guilty. What? Heed my exposition. The police, the courts, they all do my bidding. So you say, but I wonder, is that kind of is that kind of control really possible? I don't expect you to understand. It is a world beyond your compensation. You came here from Gardiesburg, I presume? Mr. Grosberg, yes. Then you must ask him why is why is it that this painting of his hangs here? Perhaps then he will tell you. Perhaps he will explain how a man can live a life purely for a personal profit. Go on now, skedaddle. There is nothing more to discuss. Little bitch. I I never liked this dude. All right. Huh? I don't think he knows me standing here. Maybe I should clear my throat. <coughs> jumping Je jumping Jehovah. <laughs> jumping Jehovah. I don't know. <laughs> oh, you. What's wrong? You look so pensive, like an old man at the end of his days. Hmm. I'm not seen out yet. I was just thinking about this whole mess. Something really bothering him. That much is clear. So you came to see the trial? Yes, yes I did. Something was bothering me all last night, you see. Couldn't get a wink of sleep. Really? What was that? Well, you see, it's just Mia's sister, that poor girl. My boy, I owe you my thanks, truly. I don't know what I would have done if things had gone poorly for this girl. I asked you before, but why did you refuse her request for defense? I think I have a right to know. All right, Mr. Wright? No, no, I'm sorry. It's just I need more time to think about it, my boy. He does seem troubled about something. I'm starting to have a feeling I know what it is. So I paid Blue Corp a visit. Oh, oh, I see. Mr. Grossberg, I have to admit something has been bothering me. Oh, what is it? Well, out with it, my boy. You see, it's just that big painting. Mr. Grosberg, sir, there was a giant painting hanging right there on the wall. wall the other day, was it not? The one you said you had no intention of parting with. Well, I saw it today. Uh, it was in the CEO's office at Blue Corp, Red White's office. So, you noticed. I suppose I should have guessed you would. It is a large painting. Mr. Grosberg, I know you and Mr. White are connected somehow. Connected, you say? Yes, and I know about what it is. He's Black Mary. Your lovers. <laughs> Your lovers. It's not something I can claim to understand, but you and Mr. White are lovers, aren't you? What? My boy! <laughs> that gives me, that reminds me of, um, of, uh, what's it called? When, um, 
for My Hero Academia when Todoroki said said to Midoriya, he was like, you're secretly All Might's love child, aren't you? He was like, am I what? <laughs> you sent that painting to him as a sign, as a sign of a dying love. My boy, please, you're letting your fancies run away with you. Where'd you get this bizarre ideas? I don't understand how you could... That's because I'm not. We're not. Don't be ridiculous. Enough. I'll swallow my pride and tell you all. I knew it. They are lovers. <laughs> no, we're not lovers. <laughs> Red White is a man who makes his living through intimidation. Blue Corp is a company that excels in finding people's weakness, I'm afraid. I've been paying them for 15 years now. All because of the DL6 incident, as you may have guessed. The name on the back of those papers photographs. As you suspected, I could not stand in defense of my becoming of this. White would have destroyed me if I did. So that's the connection. It is hard for me to tell you this, my boy, but arresting Red Wright will be nigh on impossible. Impossible? Why? He has information on everyone. It gives him an iron grip. He owns judges, attorneys, prosecutors, police, and politicians. What? They are all bound, unable to do harm to themselves, and therefore to him. Don't look at me like that. What you see is nothing more than the way of many years... What is the DL6 incident? DL6 is nothing more than the sorting code the police gave the case. It was 15 years ago. I received a request from a medium, a spirit medium. A medium? Her name was Misty Fay. Indeed, she was Mia's mother. She had been investigating a murder at the bequest of the police, and she failed. As a result, the police called her a fraud. This is what Maya was talking about the other day. I did all I could for her, and in the end cleared her for, of her wrongdoings. That murder case, however, remains unsolved to this day. That case is the DL6 incident. But why were you blackmailed over this, Mr. Grossberg? The DL6 incident was top secret at the time. It made sense the police didn't want people to know they were using a medium. They couldn't let people know, but one person found out. I told them. I told him. You told White? He offered me riches. It is an embarrassment to me now, because I talked, the police were mocked far and wide. In secret, they began looking for the one who sold them out. Of course, White heard about it, and he came to me. Only this time, the offer was blackmail. I see. White controls the law of his country as he sees fit, yet if you could still challenge him, have a close look at Mia's office. Mia's office. She followed his every move for years. She may have recorded something of what she found. Okay. Oh, shit. Jesus. <laughs> okay. Alright, so I head back to the office then. Let's see what we can find. It's funny looking. Oh, shit. It's hard to imagine a uh, murder took place here. Mr. Grossberg said there would be clues. Maybe I should have another look. Okay. Examine. Check the books. Nothing. Nothing. Phone. Mia's desk. Perfectly clean as usual. The only thing is missing is Mia. Okay. Oh. Can I go to a different section? I'm stuck here! There's no hotel right across the way. An old movie post apparently this is the page. Um this one. Let's see if A right. A, B, F, Misty Faye, that's me and Maya's mother. Hmm, should I take a look? Yes. I have tarnished the Fay name, leaving only these words, my mother vanished. I was determined to find the ones who had made my mother blame herself in this way. Using the power that runs in the family, I held an audience with the dead. Finally, the names of two men surfaced. One was Marvin Grossberg, a lawyer who sold my mother's information for riches. The other was the man who sold the information to the press. This parasite who makes his fortune on threats and coercion. His name is... Hmm, the record stops there. So me, I knew Grossberg. J and S. Skim. Sigh. Uh, she has a collection of suicide reports. There's politician, policeman. There's writing on most of these in pencil. White, this is Mia's handwriting. Wait, I get it. Mia thought he was involved in these suicides. White drove them all to. I could use these newspapers clippings. Hmm, let's find the most disturbing one. Article about politician suicide. The word white is written in pencil at the top. Okay. Alright. Yes. I still want to check one more. T. U. I know. W. White. The entire W section is missing. Was it taken? Okay. Now let's head back to Blue Court. 
Mr. Lawyer, I really hate having to repeat myself, but it seems the message has not yet penetrated your thick skull. Stop bothering me. If you try my patience further, I fear a nasty accident may occur. Do I make myself clear? Transparent. Oh, shit. Talk. There we go. Uh, I'd better make this one count. Mr. White, see this? It's an article describing the suicide of a politician. He was embezzling secret government funds. Then one day, word got leaked to the press. The very next day, he took his own life. And this concerns me how? I found this article in Mia's office. Miss Mia, she had a fi uh, file filled with articles like this. Every one of them was labeled with a single word. White. Mr. White, I know what you did to this politician. Blackmailed him. You were blackmailing him. Blackmail, not just him, either. You were threatening and coercing hundreds of others. You were involved in all the suicide... Uh, shit. This is company... This company is built on blackmail. I'm right, aren't I? What a bizarre accusation, Mr. Wrong. What it... What... What is it that you should be doing now? Investigating me? No, no. I think not. You should be searching for the one who killed Miss Mia. Secretary Office, hello? Mr. Wrong will be leaving now. Yes, sir. I'll send someone right away. Wait a second, Mr. White. You're wrong. You're wrong, Mr. Wright. What I should be doing now is going after you. Just what are you insinuating? Mia was on to you. She was keeping tabs. For this reason, you had April May tapping her phone. Then Mia was murdered and all the documents about you mysteriously disappeared. So the culprit would be. Even a child could work it out, Mr. White. You did it. Secretary Office, we won't be needing an escort Mr. Wrong, for Mr. Wrong. Instead, please connect me to Public Prosecutor's Office. Of course, sir. One moment, please. White? Uh, White, that you? What are you doing calling me at this t a time like this? Hello, Chief Prosecutor. I've changed my mind. I want to testify tomorrow. What's this about? The Mia Fey case, I witnessed the murder, you see. And thus, as a very important witness, I would like to testify. What? Why now? I thought you said you didn't want to go to court. Quite toot! I told you I changed my mind, didn't I? Oh, and one other thing. Send the police over here right away. The man is standing right in front of me. He looks dazed, but he could be violent. What? what man? Are you even listening? The executioner, the hatchet man, the liquidator, the killer man. What? Mr. White, this isn't another one of those. Chief Prosecutor, I do not believe you're in a position to freely offer your opinion to me, correct? I'm telling you to send the police now. Did I tell you, Mr. Wrong? You are a mere lawyer, as was Miss Mia. How dare you? I'll point the finger at you and you will be tried as Miss Mia's killer. The case is as good as settled. No lawyer of any worth will defend you. I have friends in the local lawyers association, you see. You'll be given a lawyer so stupendously inept that they make even you look competent. <laughs> I feel faint. Detective Gumthu reporting, sir! Oh, butts! Larry butts! Wait, <laughs> actually, Phoenix, my, my friend's name is Larry. Oh, right. <laughs> Sorry, pal, butts was that murderer, right? Detective Gumshoe, sure, I present to you the man. Uh, shit. What? Take this despicable human being into custody. Into custody. Farewell, Mr. Wrong. I'm gonna fucking shove the mouse up his ass. Just. <laughs> okay. I can't believe it's only been a day since the first trial. My trial begins tomorrow. White's going to set a trap for me, and the prosecution will be in, in, in on it, of course, Edgeworth included. An attorney was assigned to me, the state, yesterday. I refused. I had an idea. Right. Mr. Wright. Oh, Maya. Great. They let you out of detention? Just now, yes. It's all thanks to you. Ha! <laughs> now I'm afraid we switched places. What? You mean you? I explained what happened to Maya. I don't believe it. How many people does that man need to destroy before he's satisfied? My mother, my sister, and now you? This has gone on uh, far, way too far. Mr. Wright, please tell me, is there anything I can do? Uh, well... Let me break out of here. <laughs> cheer me on in court. Well, you could cheer me for me in court. Cheer for you? You mean like a cheerleader? Uh, uh, yeah, like that. All oh, right, leave it to me. Oh God, <laughs> I better go get a uniform and some pom poms. Uh, bitch, wait, what? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. <laughs> what, what, what? I'm kidding. It was a joke. No way. No, really, I was kidding. But thanks. I'm. It's good to know you're on my side. And there's really isn't anything you can do for me anyway. But I can't just sit here and do nothing. I've got to give that. A uh, give that man a piece of my mind. Just a piece. Okay. Then come to the, to the trial tomorrow. Okay, I'll be there. I'll show them a thing or two. <laughs> okay. 
Times may change, yet with crime, it's the same old story. In fact, it's gotten worse. Lengthy court proceedings are no longer realistic. Beginning a few years ago, a limit of three days was put on initial court trials. Almost all finished in a day, most with a guilty verdict. I never thought I would end up in the defendant's chair myself with this case. With the true culprit, culprit appearing as the star witness. This is it. Tomorrow, it's me or him. To be continued! As for the video as well. Okay, guys. So, <laughs> as usual, stop being lazy. Like, comment, subscribe, all that shit. Fucking do it. Damn it. Stop making me ask. All right. And I'll see you on the next one.